Hey everyone, I'm Adam Oldfield, uh, president of Vacuum Man Furnace Duct Cleaning and FPM3. So I thought I'd do a quick highlight video here for you to go over specifically some of the areas of where some people are getting the funds. Many are still wondering what's going on. Um, if you've gone to the website um, and taken a look at uh, your status, you might still be seeing today's date, the approved, and in the lower right hand side, again, the modified date alters if you're wanting to know when it's been altered in some capacity or another. Um, love your feedback, love your comments and some of the comments I've received. In fact, many people have mentioned that they're trying to reach the Ontario government and the response someone got, particularly about getting a uh, uh, four to six weeks after the audit, should there possibly be other questions, Anyway, most of us are in the waiting game and I know many of us are struggling right now, very much so. In fact, I'm talking to a few businesses that are in the worry of not having a business, even when they do open up. Toronto's actually the most locked down city uh, in Ontario actually is the most locked down province worldwide right now. We are just on the verge of crushing uh, our, our province. So um, anyway, part of this video was to talk a little bit about patience is the game. If you see the approved, it is still the status. However, I've been hearing a lot of people wondering as commercial operators, where do we fit? Where do we sit and what are our rights? I found this website. It was a great uh, summary pertaining to commercial tenants in Ontario. If you are under the concern of getting evicted or your utility bills are stacking up, your hydro is getting cut off, you're going to be evicted. This is a great little website to go over. You are protected under Bill 229. Uh, I'm no lawyer. I'm just reading and, and trying to understand as a small business operator who is in the same position as I am. This is a great website to reference. Take a look at it. Uh, I can't vouch for the law firm specifically, but I can tell you that they got some great details pertaining to what rights you have as a tenant, what are the rights of the landlord and how we all can function and try to get through this in the period of this COVID lockdown. So check this out. One of the key things is that this update was April 27th. They've updated this blog and non-enforcement period for criteria set to expire on April 22nd, 2022. So if you've had uh, all of the elements up above where you were not able or the tenant was approved to receive SIRS, a tenant was approved to receive uh, the uh, subsidized uh, emergency rent, um, this is going to protect you guys. So even though it, they're gonna lift the ban obviously at some point, um, no one's gonna be coming in and going knock, knock, knock. Guess what? The province is open. Uh, our premier Ford has now uh, opened up and now you owe me all the money that you were supposed to pay seven months ago or a year from now. This is now uh, in force, meaning they can't do anything. It gives you some time to breathe a little bit. And I wanted to share this video with everyone because I know there's a lot of anxiety right now in small businesses wondering how am I going to do it? I can't make any money until they lift the ban. And even when I start to make money, I got to still survive day to day, let alone cover all the debt that I've acquired. So uh, I'm going to keep on top of this, guys. I really appreciate your feedback. I really, uh, you know, I hope these videos have been inspiring or at least give, not inspiring, but giving you some direct in some capacity and to let you know you're not alone. There are a lot of us out there. So have a uh, commitment. I just wanted to bring some uh, some awareness to the fact that your businesses are, if you're in a business, you're in a retail environment, they can't necessarily kick you out. You've got some breathing room to get through it. Uh, it ain't going to be easy. And I know we're all going to go through some growing pains once this is lifted overall. So keep an eye on the uh, overall approved. And in the meantime, uh, let's all hopefully get back open and get our small businesses thriving again. I'm Adam Oldfield. Thanks again for watching. And if you have any feedback or thoughts, please share them in the comments below. Many people are reading them. Many people are relying on them. I'm going to use them as references as well. Thanks guys.